Hey there, welcome back to windowpurchase.com. This is Jay Johnson. Uh, again, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you find my information helpful, please let other people know. Put it on Facebook and stuff. Anyway, uh, this video is on a bone I have to pick with some places in the industry. And this all goes back to heat lamp demonstrations. Now, one of the videos I recently watched on YouTube because of what I know, complete waste of time. And most clients would not know that because of what they did. So normally when a company is doing a heat lamp demo, they have a glass sample kit, okay? And then they'll put one of these in front of the heat lamp and it's shining through, and then they put another one, a so-called competitor, and the heat's shining through. And then the other thing they'll do, um, if they don't have these, they might actually use the, their whole window, which is fine. Theoretically, it's the same glass that they're demoing. But they'll take a can of Freon, cold Freon, and spray it on this side of the glass. Then they will, they have this heat gun, and it takes the temperature of this side of the glass. And that's fine, but it shows you, they do the heat gun from this side, show you how cold it is, then they take it from this side to show you how cold it's not, or how warm it is. Then they take the competitor's, so-called competitor's glass or the competitor's window, and they do the same thing with this one, spray free on over here. Then they take the measurement over here with the heat gun, maybe it's 64, measurement over here, maybe it's 35, whatever. That's all fine and dandy. Here's the problem. I had a client call me from another state last week and he sat through the same exact thing. And I said, well, let me ask you a couple questions. Did you find the demonstration impressive? He goes, oh, yeah. I says, perfect. I says, if another company comes out and does the same exact presentation, <clears throat> how are you going to know who's got the better glass? He goes, well, what do you mean? I says, well, did the demonstration give you the U factor on the whole window? He said, no. I said, did it give you the specific solar heat gain on the glass? He said, no. I said, did it give you the condensation resistance rating on the glass? It's a specific rating. He said, what's condensation resistance? I asked him, did it give you a specific fade reduction number? Is it blocking out 70% of ultraviolet rays that cause fading in the house, 77%, 82%, 99%? I don't know. Then I started to ask him about for instance, design pressure ratings or performance grade ratings on the window. What's that? Then I said, well, let's go back to where we started. They didn't give you the U factor on the window. I said, so you need to go find out what that is and then call me and I'm going to give you some more information. So he did. And this goes back to a video I did earlier. It's one of the videos on my website after uh, 118. So it's either going to be 119 or after. When I'm talking about Energy Star certification and Energy Star ratings, too many companies are coming in letting you assume that they can't legally sell you a window that doesn't meet Energy Star requirements for where you live. And if you look at that map, it's broken up into four different zones. So he lives in the northern zone, which on that map is in dark blue. I showed him what the U factor needs to be to meet Energy Star, and he went back and got their information. They really didn't want to give it to him, but he found out the U factor doesn't meet Energy Star for where he lives, and the condensation resistance rating is also not on the NFRC label. But in the beginning, he was impressed with the whole dog and pony show, Freon, BTU meter, heat lamp demonstration. And this is why I keep beating the same drum and kicking the same horse, but you need to get specific ratings. Keep all that stuff aside. Tell the dude, keep it in your bag. Already seen it, been there, done that. These are the specific ratings I want from you. Because if you don't get those ratings, one, you're dead in the water. Two, you have no way to accurately and fairly and factually compare their product to another company you're potentially shopping with. And if you don't even know whose performance ratings or whose window 
really outperforms the other guy's window, then you won't even know who should be priced in what order or why. Because it's not like you're going to get two or three companies out and they're all going to be the same exact price. That never happens. Somebody's going to be the low price guy, and maybe he should be. Somebody's going to be the middle price guy, and maybe he should be or shouldn't. And somebody's going to be the high price guy, and maybe he should or shouldn't. These are the things you need to know. So anyway, I've seen all the YouTube videos I need to see on most of these people that are trying to explain how great their product is, but they're not giving you any specific relevant information to go off of. Once again, I'm Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. Uh, if you like my website, please subscribe. Thank you so much.